It's okay. Tooties. Despite the hype in Paris, the fact is there's no such thing as man-made climate change. Yeah, the truth is the intergovernmental panel on climate change of the United Nations is a political, not a scientific body, and it even amends scientific documents before publication to conform to diplomatic niceties. It's The climate alarmism plastering the media and the so-called science put forward by the United Nations is fraudulent. And what Sir David Attenborough says is a disgrace to science. And we challenge him to open debate. And one thing we would ask him is, just look at this graph. The upper curve is what their UN models predict. And you can see they fail and fail and fail again to show what really is happening in the world. The world now is cooling and our own scientific examination of solar activity shows it will cool even more rapidly in the next 20 years. When it comes to CO2 emissions, they're failing on their own terms. They're actually not cutting them, but exporting them. They closed the British steel industry to reduce CO2 in Britain and it's regrown in India to make more CO2. This is absurd. We've lost jobs. So, let's be clear. The climate change energy charges on your electricity bill are actually a poll tax on the poor, which even causes people to die in winter when they cannot cook the food. So why is it happening? Follow the money. Huge profits have been made from carbon trading, from expensive climate change, grandiose projects, big oil benefits from price rises, banks benefit from any trading, you do not. Ice cream, tea, coffee, French baguette, we got it all here. Now is the time to start full debate in Britain on the future of the climate change story. It's a con and must be closed down. That's all for today. And from the Piccadilly Whip ice cream stall in Tar Hill to the politically whipped here in Westminster. Piers Corbyn, welcome to the programme. Now, Good surely, to be here. surely for you to be right, nearly all the world's leaders, from the President of America to the President of China, plus most of the world's climate scientists, are engaged in a, a massive conspiracy to conspiracy well, to hoodwink us. That can't be right. Uh, well, of course, most uh, of the climate scientists, you say, but that isn't true. Uh, of this so-called survey of climate scientists of 12,000 papers, only 0.3% of them actually stated that they, uh, from their work, that CO2 had, man CO2 had been the cause of warming. The other papers said nothing at all, including papers But most myself. of the world has signed on to this. Most of all the leaders have their own scientific advisers. They're, although they argue about no, what to do. No, they're appointed. You see, it's the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. They appoint people to advise themselves. The uh, IPCC is a political organisation, not a scientific organisation. Why could so many people be hoodwinked and why? Well, it's easily done, and it has been done before. There's many things in the past which have been untrue and believed, such as, you know, Galileo had a problem bringing forward the truth. John Harrison had a problem bringing forward the truth for 30 years about how to measure latitude. For 10 years, people didn't believe that, or believe that continental drift was impossible because of the entrenched interest groups. And if you want to know what is actually going on, we can tell you, but that graph I showed shows that the theory they put forward is not working. So, under the Climate Change Act, Section 6, um, Part 2, it states very clearly that if the science changes, i.e. information changes, then the measures have to change and should be discussed. Use. So what I'm saying is we have to reopen the debate on climate change and actually not impose these charges which are Closing British but you said, example. you claimed in, in your, your take there that the world is now cooling. Yes. 
But that's not borne out by either the land or the satellite temperature measurements, it is, is it? It is. Not, not, not up to now. Look at now. the graph again. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But the past, uh, I mean, no, temperatures no. Well, look now. At the graph. The temperatures graph you just now seen shows that. Temperatures now are, on average, about 0.5 degrees above where they were 35 uh, years yeah. ago. The, but people argue about no, a no. pause. There's but 0.5 certainly we've degrees had... of fraud, and you can find that on the website. But that's, a, but that's the, all the satellite measurements I know show no, no, that no. the temperature's no, been the right. No, there's an argument about... Not the satellite measurements. No, So-called no. land measurements sh show an increase, but they are fraudulently chosen because they change the data sets on the way through. And you can go on the weatheraction.com website and see this, or many but other... But we've had papers. since... I mean, people argue about a pause, whether that's there, how long it will mm -hmm, last. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But a since, pause, since 1997-98, we've had some of the warmest years on record. Oh, we had some very warm years, yes. So how but can it be called... The average, be called average in the last... Uh, the, uh, the, peak, the recent peak is the same as taking away the data fraud, the same as the peak in the late 19, in the 1940s. Michael, you're a bit of a sceptic. Yes. Your We're position is at the extreme end, though, of scepticism. I mean, it's, it's really denial. It's not just sceptic. There are even climate scientists who, who can disagree about the exact temperature oh, yeah. consequences of CO2. Lukewarmest position. Right. But that's not yours. You're effectively in outright denial. Well, we're saying that the CO2 has no effect whatsoever, and that is borne out by history. If you look at history, CO2 levels follow changes in temperature, not the other way round. And that is because the temperature of the sea controls the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. Because um, okay. the sea itself has got 50 times more CO2 in it than the atmosphere. So the sea surface temperature controls how much goes in and 